what's up guys the team infinity video popped off a little bit i appreciate y'all for that this is going to be the fastest and the easiest way to get these affinities done uh you can see we're working on them i'm at 50 percent on about all of them my al west is at 75 percent, so we're almost done there we're getting there um even if you don't want these cards, they don't make your team. They are very, very important for getting these packs that get you Chipper Jones, Babe Ruth, Pedro, this Trey Turner. So it's a very important program to go ahead and grind. Um, that being said, uh, there's a couple things you should probably do first. I would recommend doing the showdowns. They give you, what, 15000 That gets you... Get you this pack anyway. Get you this pack. You can take a gold and a diamond, and you're trying to grind PXP with those cards, right? So that's the first thing I would do. Do your showdown. Do all the showdowns. Make a team out of the players that you get from that. And uh, you're doing these henchman missions, right? You're doing these. This is what you're focusing on. You're making a team out of these players. And then you're going to go play the conquest, right? The conquest is going to get you 25,000. That's going to get you to around 50,000. You should get a captain pack and be close to probably getting another one of these packs. You're going to then make a team out of those players and the captains. And you're going to go play mini seasons, team affinity mini seasons, right? And this is good because the only cards you're allowed to use are like these cards that you need, right? So I'm going to pick some captains or some low diamonds that i might need to get done you can see first base there's not a lot gotta get hosmer done utley's an affinity card if you're wondering if a card's an affinity card check their card hit y hit square whatever or triangle and go over to locations if it says team affinity then that's team affinity card hitters have to get 200 parallel xp pitchers have to get 600 so that's what you're looking for unless it's a captain captains have stat based missions so like manny machado might have to hit five extra base hits or a pitcher might have to pitch so many innings or uh get so many strikeouts something like that right do not confuse live series captains with the affinity captains right if it says live series that's not going to give you parallel xp it's not going to help you if you have to be 100% certain and don't want to be wasting your time, make sure you go to Team Affinity. Make sure you check the the uh, Captain Stat missions and the Henchman missions to make sure you're using the right players. But anyway, you're going to play through that uh, mini season, the Team Affinity mini season. You're going to get a significant... It's not going to let me. I'm going to have to have all the right players in there to even be allowed to get in judge and stuff is is not letting me play anyway um so you're gonna play through that mini season if you go around 18 and 0 you can quit out the rest of the games make it to the mini season playoffs uh should only take you six games if you win against cpu every time so that's what 24 games something like that if you win all those you get vouchers right that's why we're doing this mini season we're doing it for the parallel xp but we're also doing it for the vouchers right so that's how you get these mini season voucher exchanges. They're worth a decent amount. You can see fives worth 20,000. I'm not entirely sure how many you get from the mini season. I know it's it's definitely more than five. Uh, when I backed out of one earlier, I had 15 vouchers. That's what? That's uh, 60,000. That's half. That's almost half of this team, the team affinity program done just by having the vouchers. So that would be the way I would recommend you going about knocking out these team affinities. You can probably get to 80% without having to grind these team build missions, which is probably going to be the way most people get them. Uh, that's going to take a while. If you only do it with the team build missions, that's going to take you quite some time. Uh, another option is March to October. I would not recommend it. I don't think it's worth it. I mean, you're winning the World Series, right? So you're playing a full season of March, October for between, you're probably getting 80000 for doing that. I would rather do the mini season. You get a 15-pack bundle at the end with a ball and as a habit. You get the missions done. You get XP along the way. 
I would advise doing the mini seasons. Uh, I think it's the easiest way. You can literally play these games on Rookie. You do not have to really sweat. You don't really have to try that hard unless you're bad. But, you know, I'll make some videos for that too. Uh, but, yeah, that's it, guys. And uh, peace.